Hello, 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 my quirkies. How are you? What's up? Where have you been? <laughs> I haven't said that in so long, and it should be illegal at this point. I've missed saying that so much. But hello, hello, and hello. I won't, I won't, you know, prolong this introduction. You might be wondering why I'm dripping wet. So I just finished washing my hair and I will be, will be just doing a little chit chat while I moisturize my hair. So I use this product. I use this conditioner. It was my first time using it actually. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet, so we're going to see how we feel about this while I like I literally just wash it out. So we're going to see how we feel about it um, when I'm doing my hair. And of course, I use bentonite clay to cleanse, and I'll be using this to moisturize. This is an aloe vera juice mix and this coconut oil, olive oil mix. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, we already know. I don't do the whole just attack my hair kind of thing. We have to section. We're still sectioning 2022, but we're still sectioning, all right? I've missed you guys so much. There is so much. There are so many updates in my life. There are so many hair updates. I don't know if you can see a difference already. If you can tell a difference in my hair, you can go ahead and comment it. But I feel a whole lot of difference when it comes on to my hair i see a lot of difference as well some that i'm excited about some that i'm not really excited about um but yeah so the first things first i want to talk about not necessarily talk about it because it's quite simple but yeah girl run out of products like i fully ran out of hair products and my hair needed a proper wash and so i decided i'm going to diy a little diy never hurt anyone so i found a few things around the house i mixed it and i'll be using it in my hair and i'm so kind <laughs> i made a mini tutorial so you guys can watch that and see how i did it you know if you're not a products like myself or if it's a case where you just can't afford it at the moment because life is expensive right now life is expensive right now you should be able to find these things around the house so this is an aloe vera juice mix and it's just aloe vera and water that are mixed together aloe vera juice if it's a case where you don't have the pre-made aloe vera juice like I did, what you can do is use aloe vera, peel off the skin, um, peel off the skin and blend it with water. Blend it with water. And that's you. And this now, this is my olive oil, coconut oil, some other essential oils mix that i put together it feels so good it feels so good oh my gosh it feels so nice but anyways let's talk shall we let's catch up <laughs> let's catch up so the difference that i see with my hair if i'm not looking directly in the camera i'm looking at the mirror behind the camera I feel as if my hair has gotten short, shorter however I'm not upset because I feel as if it's the healthiest that it has been in about three years I shared the, the whole story of me blow drying and quote-unquote silk pressing my hair once for my birthday and after that my hair wasn't the the same um it was heat damaged it was straight my curls weren't the same anymore my ends were a mess and all of that 
and somehow during the course of last year i don't know what i've done different I, I guess it's the consistency somehow throughout the course of last year my hair just is as if it's so healthy and it's getting back thick it was thin for some time it was thin since i did it right but it just looks so much healthier now and i'm so happy about it however i don't know if it's my mind or what it just feels a lot shorter it just feels a lot shorter and i'm wondering if it's because it's no longer straight and it's it's curly that is the shrinkage that causes it to feel shorter or i'm wondering if because i never cut my hair I'm wondering if the dead ends drop off. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> and I can't figure it out. You can tell me if you see a difference. When I look back on the other videos, I just feel as if my hair has been a lot shorter. But it looks a lot healthier. And I'm really happy about that. Health over length, right? I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I'm through with moisturizing what i'm going to do now is just do smaller twists so that's the hairstyle <laughs> wash the hairstyle so this is a little bonus and while i'm doing that let's just do a small live update a mini live update you know probably should have done a q a oh well, that's the first update. I'm not necessarily on Instagram that much. I don't have the app on my phone. I still visit the website. So I go on Instagram.com occasionally just to check up on my friends, see if I have any important messages. But I'm not on, on Instagram. I'm there, but I'm not very there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's the first thing. Probably someday I will be back fully. The thing is, I went on there, so I reinstalled everything, ready to, you know, be active again, be consistent in posting, consistent in the stories and interaction. And um, I don't even remember the, what's the term that they use when you interact with like your audience. You see, <laughs> I don't even remember. But you know, I was so ready for that, like full on ready for just, yeah, you know, I started posting, posted some stories, replied to some comments, and then few posts afterwards, I just, I just never felt belonging. I can't explain it, not necessarily that um, I feel as if. I don't belong there because of other persons but just internally I just don't feel in the headspace or the mind space to be on Instagram right now um yeah I deleted snapchat as well for some time I deleted snapchat I think around the same time I don't remember I do miss the filters though sometimes <laughs> but yeah i just i don't know i'm just currently not in the headspace for instagram i think right now perhaps one day i'll be back perhaps not don't unfollow me though i mean yeah <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do but i am currently not as active there i'm there but not as active i don't have the app but i do visit the website sometimes also your girl graduated so i graduated last year i'm a whole graduate i'm no longer in university i'm no longer in school jeez jeez <laughs> time flies it feels so weird to say that i started this channel in 2009 well, not started this channel. I started this channel from like 2014. But I mean actually creating videos that are public. I think in 2018. I think so. So like the end part of 2018, I started this channel. Um, I 
and that was in first year no i started early to i don't remember i don't remember i think it was early 2018 i started i think so early 2018 like may or so i started so that was when i was in first year started doing youtube videos and i'm now through i'm done with school y'all thanks be to god i am so grateful i'm so thankful that the lord kept me off for years and you know one of the things that i've been saying is yes it's good that i um i'm very thankful for the degree very thankful that i have a bachelor's degree and i have the paper that literally one paper one piece of paper then give me so I'm, <laughs> I'm so thankful that i have my papers my paper singular um but what i'm most grateful for the experience the four years i cannot pay for the experience that i experienced throughout the four years of being in university like no money can pay for it money money can pay for it really and truly and i am so thankful i am especially thankful for you come and i think you guys probably tired for hearing me talk about this now i've spoken about you come so much but it has been such a blessing in these four years of my university life it still is because i'm still very much a part of you come they, they have the saying they say once a you come always a you come up yeah man they not get rid of it so easy <laughs> i'm still benefiting and learning and growing from this ministry but i'm thankful to be done with school i'm i'm working the lord so so specifically and beautifully aligned things and i am now i am in a job and i'm really thankful for that as well i'm really grateful life is just one bag of transitions one bag of changes stepping into new seasons of life and i'm excited i mean at the beginning of this probably like the end of this year to the beginning i was so it, it's it's nerve-wracking and it's excited what the lord is dealing with me when it comes on to the nervousness part i am a person i like having things in place i'm a planner right like i love planning and when i'm planning i have everything written down i have everything organized and this is this and this is that and so when i'm doing life and i don't have all of that planned out and I don't have all of that mapped out and this is this and this is that it can be a bit scary to me as a person but the Lord has been dealing with me and in how much I trust him and how much I you know just yeah give over all of my trust to him knowing that he is in control of everything it don't make no sense me sit down and stress over what gonna happen next year you know when may i gonna get this when am i going to do this how am i going to do the it don't make no sense and so if you are in the same boat as i was in i'm just telling you to just hand it over to god like cast all your cares upon him and walk with him one day at a time like walk with him one day one step at a time because if you try figure out every single thing and have everything written down and set and this is what i'm going to do yeah my madam don't do it don't do it i'm talking from experience <laughs> i do look forward though to being back on youtube um and i want to be more consistent i have such beautiful friends so you all know that my my birthday is in december right? friends and family my birthday is in december i am i usually have a birthday list um i usually like i am i am huge on birthdays i love celebrate I, i'm huge on celebrating so when i be 
my friend's graduation, my friend's birthday, anniversaries, just any special occasion. I'm so huge on celebrating these special moments in life. Like life should be celebrated. God give us this life to celebrate it. Yeah. You know, so I'm very big on that and I usually have this one extravagant thing on my birthday and so on. But this birthday, I decided that I was just going to do a um, a prayer, a, a birthday prayer service. I am still, like, the, I'm so blessed. Like, look into my eyes. I'm so blessed. The Lord has blessed me with such amazing friends and family. Alright, it's a kind of something from what I was going to say. The reason I'm saying that is I got new equipment for my birthday. Like, I have persons investing in my dreams and investing in what I want to do. And that's such that's such a blessing like pause and think about it if you have persons in your life that just support you and invest in your dreams and your talents and all of these things that's such a blessing and that's not something i take for granted at all at all at all so i've been wanting a, a new phone um, for so many reasons. I'm a Pixel fan. Like I'm a huge Pixel fan. I love Google Pixel phones and My family got me a new Google Pixel phone. So that's what I'm filming on as well as my best friends who are so far away But still so close in my heart. They got me new lighting So I'm not sure if you realize the difference, but I have new lights. I have one here one up there um, and of course my old light but new lights I also got a new microphone so it can be attached to, to the phone I'm not using it right now because one my hair wet and I, I was spraying water as well as I'm still trying to figure out how to use it <laughs> but it's just so sweet how my friends and family continue to support me in so many different ways I'm so happy so I look forward to new videos I look forward to um, new content and good quality videos and so on being put out I'm a type of person where I want to ensure that what I'm putting out for you guys is good quality I got stuck in trying to do things so perfectly um, where it can be good and it can be bad I wanted things done so well that I end up not posting things that it do it, it doesn't meet my standard of what it should meet. You get me? And so I ended up having I still have a whole lot of videos. So why you see me not posting is not that I'm not filming. I have so many videos, so many videos that have yet to be edited. As well as I don't have the time but some of them I have and I just don't post it because I just don't like the quality of how it turned out and so I ended up not posting those videos but I'm trying to be while still put out good quality and good content and so on I'm trying to be less hard on myself and on what I post and what I do and I really look for cuz yeah i really look forward to being more consistent here interacting more with you all i saw a comment a few days ago on one of my older youtube videos and it just reminded me of why i'm doing all that i'm doing you know i'm not just here doing this just because but there is a reason behind it there are persons that are being blessed there are persons that are being impacted by these videos and that's enough for me to know you know even if i don't necessarily reach the goal or the 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 
the statistical goal or the statistics that I thought that I want to reach, the fact that souls are being blessed, there is no amount of likes, there is no money, there is nothing that can really and truly compare to souls being blessed, were souls being saved, right? And so while yes, I want the view, don't get me wrong, subscribe the same way, <laughs> like, share, all of these things. But the whole essence of why I'm doing what I'm doing is so that souls can be impacted. You know, lives changed in so many different aspects as well. And so I've been going on a journey of remembering and figuring out as well my why i think that's probably one of the reasons i'm not so much on instagram anymore because i'm at a place of why am i why am i doing this you know what am i doing this for who is this for what is the impact what's the reason behind doing this and perhaps when i find a reason and it's one that lines up with the will of god Perhaps then I'll be back. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let me speak real to the end of this video. I think I've done enough chatting and talking <laughs> and life update. Big ups to you if you're still here listening to me. But let me finish my hair and I'll be back. All right, my quirkies, so that was a long video. Thank you all for sticking around. Thank you all for staying with me, talking with me, listening to me. I'm sorry if it was so long. <laughs> I don't know. It might happen again. It might not. But anyways, we are here and we love it here. I love it here. It feels so good to be back. It feels so good to be just you know in this zone we love it here we love it here <laughs> all right so i'll see you quirkies we'll talk some other time god bless you all